So now you have chosen a program, you know what you're going to be doing so that you start getting results, which we know is the first step in being able to start your journey is getting those results so that you can start sharing and feeling confident. And once you start doing that, you have the ability to help more people on their journey. So this is the super exciting part. I hope that you guys are getting so pumped. We're going to talk a little bit about social media and kind of cleaning up your Instagram because most of you guys are coming in here, usually most of you, um, using Instagram. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about here just so I make sure that you have a have some tangible steps to kind of do a quick overhaul of it and then get yourself going knowing what to start sharing. Um, when you get into our mastermind group on Facebook, you're going to see all kinds of trainings about anything you want to know about, but I want to make sure to do just something small with you here for this next step to make sure you're kind of on the right foot. So you know your program, you know what you're going to start sharing about. Now we want you to think about some things about you. So what you're going to see below is a color wheel. It's like a circle. And basically what that's there for is to help you start to jog your brain thinking about what makes you you. What are some things about you? Um, and what you're going to do is write them and fill them into the color wheel. And print this out, put it on your notepad, put it on your desk, you know, wherever you go to do your coach work, because I want for it to just bring up in your mind things about yourself so that you know what you can start sharing about. This business is going to become, you know, a part of you, but it's not all of you. And so I don't want for you to fall into the trap of being one of those people, I'm sure you can think of one right now, who joins a company or starts doing something different and all they do is start sharing about that product and flyers about it and it's just like, okay, this is way too much. We don't want that to be you. We want for this business to become a part of you, but for it to not overtake your life. And so that's what this color wheel is for. It's going to help you think of some little things about yourself. So what makes you you? It could be that you love coffee or you are super obsessed with dogs. Um, maybe you eat a donut every Friday and you go do something with your kids because that's a celebration that you guys have every Friday. Maybe you're a mom. Maybe you're going through infertility. Maybe you're on a grief journey and you're sharing a lot about that. There's so many things that make each of us different. And so that's what I want for you to focus on. That's what I want for you to remember as you're going about this journey is to write out some things that make you you, because that's going to be something that is, um, is different about you. That's going to be the thing that you're going to start sharing to really begin your journey on the right foot to just start creating that connection with the people who are coming to your page every single day, because what we don't want for it to turn into is to become just workouts and selfies because it can really quickly become that when you let just sharing about the product kind of overtake you. And so I want to encourage you that while this business is important, it's not the only thing about you. There's so many other cool things about you and you want people to know that because that's what's going to create that connection. That's what's going to help them want to be a part of what you're doing because they're going to connect with something that you're sharing about yourself. So as you fill in this color wheel, I want you to put those things in there, kind of start thinking about some things that make you you, different aspects of who you are. And, and then what I want for you to do is take a look at your page. So take a look at your Instagram, pull up your Instagram, I'll pull up mine right now. And I want you to look at it. You want it to be warm and inviting. Now Instagram is a visual, a visual platform. It is something that people come to and they want to see pictures that are inviting, right? They don't want to see just a bunch of like, selfies like this because it's the same thing. However, you there is a way to make it very, very simple for you to go ahead and just start tweaking some little things about it. Number one is your profile picture. So if you look at your profile picture right now and you cannot see your face, you don't know that this is your page and not like a family page or your dog's page, we don't want to see any of that. We want to see just a picture of you. So go do your hair, put your makeup on, have someone take a picture of you or you take your phone, click on the camera button and turn it around to do the timer, set it up somewhere and take a picture smiling at the camera and make that your new profile picture so people can see your face when they come to your page. The next thing you can do is overhaul your bio, your Instagram bio. You want it to be inviting and you want it to be about you. So let them know a little bit about um, things about yourself. Like for me, mine says wife and mama of three, saved by grace, lover of Jesus, coffee and fitness. 
advocate for joyful, grace-filled living. That is my Instagram bio. And so it lets people know that they're coming to a joyful, a bright, and uplifting page, that I'm a mom, that I'm a believer, and a little bit about what I like. And so that's what we want for you to do in your bio too. It doesn't have to be anything crafty. Go onto, onto the computer, click on Instagram.com, and you can actually create your bio. You can change it up there, and it'll let you know if you have too many characters, and it'll make it super easy for you to edit it and put it the way that you want it if it's kind of down in lines. Um, so once you do that, at the very bottom of it, we do want for you to try to change it to where you have a mission statement at the end. What are you gonna be helping people through your profile? Um, maybe you're helping you feel confident in your mom jeans, or taking you from unfulfilled to passionate, or taking you from down and out to thriving, um, you know, or thriving, you know, you know, helping you thrive instead of just survive, you know, things like that. You want to take them through a journey of from here to there through what you're going to be doing as a coach. So think about something like that too. Just overhaul a couple things so that people know what they're getting when they come to your profile. Um, and then another thing that we want for you to do is just to obviously begin thinking about ways that you can implement what you wrote down in your color wheel into what you share on your Instagram. So there's a whole, there's such a different way to share than just a bunch of selfies. So for example, I personally, I love coffee. I'm a mom. I'm a believer. Um, and there's so many ways that I could easily just like take a selfie for each of those. Be like drinking my coffee, headed to church. Here's my outfit of the day. Me and the kids. Um, you know, there's so I could do the same thing, right? However, another way to do that is to take a picture of my coffee mug and share a quote that I'm I'm reading in my personal development while I'm drinking my coffee that morning. Maybe it's a selfie in the mirror of my outfit of the day for church, and I put a quote of a worship song I've been listening to while I'm getting while I'm getting ready. Um, maybe it's a maybe it is a selfie of me and my family, or um, a picture that somebody took of my family and I, and I talk about motherhood. Maybe it's a workout selfie, and I'm sweaty and I'm dripping, but I'm talking about loving the skin that I'm in and all my stretch marks included because I'm a mom of three and I've had three pregnancies. You can see how there's different ways to share about what makes you you than just a selfie. So. Those are a couple things we want you to think about. We also want to encourage you to, when you go to your profile, if I go and I look at my page, I want to see within the first nine squares, I want to see a transformation picture. I want to see a progress picture. There is no better way to share and show people that you are on a journey. Not You're not perfect yet, right? There's no perfection. We're constantly on our own journey. So we want to encourage you to have a place where you see a transformation picture so people know that this is something that they can join you on, that you are on a process of becoming a better version of yourself and they are free to jump on the train at any time. So keep that in mind as well as you start sharing. And one of the first things you can share about, even within a week of doing your program of starting your being a product of the product, you can easily share a before and after picture and it can be something you talk about mental transformation or physical. There's so many different ways to talk about that. So. Just a quick little overhaul, we want for you to just remember that, again, this is a lot of stuff coming at you, but this is all things to help you just start to create a slate that just is going to help you be successful. So go ahead, go fill up that color wheel, print it out, go change up your profile picture, go ahead and change up your mission statement, change up a little bit about your bio so people know who you are. We don't want it to say, like, I'm a beach body coach. We want it to be about you and about what makes you you so that when somebody quickly comes to your page, they're seeing an accurate description and display of what your storefront is. When you're shopping around, you're out at an outdoor shopping mall and you walk by a store, the first thing you see is what they have in the window. If they're displaying things that you like, you're more apt to go into the store, right? It's the same thing as on Instagram and on your social media. If you're displaying and sharing things that reach the people that you're wanting to commit, you're wanting to have commit with you, or you're wanting to have a relationship with, that is what's going to catch their eye. Even though it's not all about having the perfect pictures and the perfect poses and captions and things like that, it is about creating an inviting place for people to come. And when you, when they come to your profile, your bio and your pictures are the first thing that they're going to see. And that is the decision, the time that they're going to make the decision of whether they're going to continue to follow you or not, or whether they see that you and them can be friends and build a connection or not. So be thinking about that as you create your visual storefront. We want for you to just tweak a couple things and one of the quickest ways to do that is to just start thinking about things you want to share, change that profile picture up, tweak your bio a little bit, 
and get excited to continue learning more about social media, which we'll start sharing in our mastermind group too after this. We don't want to fill your head with too much. This is just the simple, simple basics to get you started. So go ahead and do those few things. Make sure you check them off in the check marks and we'll see you in the next step.